So one of my favorite apps on the iPhone is the Apple's Reminders app. And I think a lot of people are missing out when it comes to the Apple Reminders app. So in this video, I wanna share with you some cool tips and tricks so that you could get the most out of this app. And by the end of this video, you'll become a master user when it comes to the Apple Reminders application. So if you're ready, let's start. So one of my favorite features in Apple Reminders is the location feature. So the location feature is a great feature that allows you to get reminded about a reminder that you created on the Apple Reminders app when you arrive at a certain location. So for example, it could be maybe you write down a grocery list and then you put the location of your grocery store of where you're gonna go and buy it. So when you arrive at that grocery store, it will automatically pop up on your phone, you'll receive the notification that and it will show your reminders and you'll be able to open it and see your grocery list of what you need to buy when you enter the grocery store. So it's a great way, of course, just to get reminded about something when you arrive at a certain location because sometimes you need to be reminded about a, a, um, a reminder when you arrive at that location. So one of my favorite neat features that a lot of people don't know about the Apple Reminders app in iOS 15 is subtask. So subtasks are pretty much another task they can add to your main reminder that you created. So it's a great way, of course, just to add another reminder or create a list inside a reminders application that you that you made. So it's just another way, of course, to get reminded about something without having to create a long list. You could just add a subtask, and it'll uh, you could add another task within inside your main reminder that you created. So it's not as confusing as I make it to sound, uh, but pretty much is your main reminders, and then you have your subtask below it to be reminded about maybe something else that you need to be reminded about with that main reminder. So next we have is the notes and URL feature inside a reminders. So one of my favorite things about Apple reminders is that you can actually add notes into your main reminder. So you can add, uh, if you need to add notes uh, for something for that reminder, or you can add a URL as well. So link it to an article or link it to a link that you need to be reminded about when you arrive at a certain location, or you need to be reminded about to check out at a later time. You can add a URL or notes as well so that you know why you create that reminder in the first place as well. So one of my favorite things about Apple Reminders is the list organization feature. So you can have a list about maybe a food list, you can have a chore list, you can have a work list. So you can make a list about anything and then add Apple Reminders inside each of those lists so that you can keep everything nice and organized as well and keep it separate so that you can keep your work uh, reminder separate from your home uh, reminders as well. And you don't mix it up and just keep everything nice and organized inside the Apple Reminders app, which is something really really nice and i really like how apple really designed the new ios 15 apple notes design look because it makes a lot more sense like this to keep it nice and organized as well so Apple Reminders will not be Apple Reminders without Siri integration. So Siri integration is probably one of the best things that could happen to Apple Reminders because you could just say, um, Siri, remind me to uh, go for a walk in five minutes or Siri, remind me to go and pick up my laundry in 30 minutes. So you don't have to type everything into the Apple Reminders. You could just tell Siri to add that to your reminders so that like in 30 minutes, you'll pick up your laundry. So it's just a great way, of course, just to be reminded about it without having to type it in and ban and be hands uh, free when you don't want to maybe type something into your iPhone. You can just tell Siri to remind you and Siri will automatically uh, add it to your reminders so that you can be reminded about that task that you need to get done. So this one is a nice little tip uh, for any power user or any user who wants to become a power reminders user. And that is to download this awesome free app called Remind Me Faster. So Remind Me Faster, is a, it works really well with the Apple Reminders app. So if you're on the go or something, you need to be reminded about something, you can quickly remind yourself about that task and quickly add that reminder. And it will automatically send it to the Apple Reminders app. So without you having to open the main reminders, because uh, Remind Me Faster is just a much more better way to write reminders uh, because it automatically opens a page and you just choose what list you want added to and quickly add the reminder and go. And if you're in Apple Reminders, you'll have to open up the Apple Reminders, you have to choose your list, and then you have to include all the information that you want to be included, which takes a little bit longer. So Remind Me Faster is a way faster application uh, to add any reminder that works with Apple Reminders so that you could get a really good integration and be reminded about a certain thing when it comes to your reminders on Apple Reminders. 
So that's pretty much it for all the tips and tricks that you need to know about Apple Reminders in 2022 in iOS 15. Now, if you did enjoy this video, it would be really fantastic if you will give this video a thumbs up so that you can help other people find this video as well. So other than that, I will see you guys later and thank you so much for watching.